Hey everybody, Steven here. Today I just wanted to shoot this video on how I am able to get my Facebook ads approved almost every time. Um, this is an awesome way. It, you know, basically, uh, you know, you're creating when you create an ad, you're usually you're redirecting it to someplace else outside of Facebook, and those are kind of harder to get approved. And so this way, you're basically putting your landing page uh, within uh, Facebook. So, um, so you want to have a Facebook fan page set up with this, and this is my business fan page right here. And what you want to do is once you have that set up, go to your fan page, and up here at the top where the tabs are, uh, when you when you first create a page, it'll be empty little tabs here, and uh, um, I have got more than three, so I'm going to click this little arrow here. It'll expand some more. And what you want to do is click on an empty one, click the plus symbol. You want to click on find more apps. And then what you want to do is search for iframe. Oops, iframe. And you could use this one here. Um, but with this one, you have to get the HTML code. And a lot of times it doesn't work right. You have to make, go through the code and make sure all your URLs are... Um, or there and everything so it's kind of a hassle so I use this one here it's called woo box woo box <laughs> um, and <clears throat> I've already got it installed so uh, I don't have to click this um, install page tab uh, but you can install up to nine tabs with this with this app so um, I guess it would be ten it says install up to nine more so you want to click one of these down here, and um, if you already have it, and then it'll click this page, and you click on, <clears throat> and you choose your Facebook page that you want it for, and then it click Add Page Tab, and then it should pop up something to where you, yeah, authorize. <clears throat> you have to authorize it, so click on that, click OK, and then this is what it looks like right here so <clears throat> what you can do is um, you could show the share button at the top of the tab um, to where it can you can share that tab I guess um, but page source is what you want right here you want to click URL because if you use uh, redirect when somebody goes to click on that tab uh, it will click up a box that, that says do you want to redirect click OK and you don't want them to do that so uh, you want to use the URL or you want to use HTML where you can actually paste the code in from your landing page or wherever it's coming from like I have one that's set up uh, with my get response account with the web form I just have the web form code in here and it when somebody clicks the ad it just goes shows the web form on that on the tab so um, but if you Want, if you already have a landing page set up, uh, you just get the URL that that landing page is on. And, like for instance, let me go to um, one of my landing pages. This one right here. Okay, this is the landing page I set up. And I'm just going to copy the URL. Click, click. And copy it over here. Get rid of double H two P. There we go. And that's what you want right there. And the height, you can change that if you want. Um, if you're you have a really long uh, landing page, you can set that to fit. Um, I'm just gonna leave it. You can hide the scroll bars um, so people aren't scrolling up and down. But if you have a long page, you'll wanna you probably wanna keep those. But um, I'm just going to hide them. And then you go down here and click, uh, I think that's all you have to do on this. Oh, tab name. You can change the tab name. Um, I'm going to change it to get leads. I already have one create that says get leads, but I'm going to create another one for example purposes. I believe that's all you have to do on this one. And then hit save settings. And then things happening oh here we go um, grant permission I've never gotten that before hmm.
Looks like it saved though. Okay. And then you want to go back to your fan page and go to see the tab. There it is right there. And if you want to change the picture, just uh, click on the little pencil here, edit settings, and custom tab image. Click on change and edit. And this is you want to make sure the image is 111 by 74 pixels. And um, I've already got one set up, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick that picture. And if you're not sure how to do that, um, it's pretty easy. You just open up paint or something and, and resize it to the dimensions you want. And then, let's see, where is it? There, that one there. <clears throat> Let me see if it, there we go. Okay. And then, let's go back to my page. Um, oh, I have my page there. Let's see if it worked. <laughs> Yep, there it is. Okay. Now, now, okay, you got your tab set up, so let's go ahead and click on it and see where it takes us. See what it looks like. And there you go. You click on that tab, and there's your landing page. So when somebody fills in their email here, you got a lead. So, simple enough. Okay, now let's create the ad. Well, I'll show you how. I won't create a full ad. I'll just show you um, how you can get this to show when you create your ad. So, um, I've got to go home here to the home. Okay, ads. Create an ad. Okay, so um, here you want to click your page. Then right here is where you, the landing view is what you want to change so that tab you just created remember what you named it and then my it was get leads I changed it to get leads that's what you want to click right there so um, basically that's all I then you can go through and do all the settings and all that jazz so um, yeah that's basically what you want right there the landing view to change it to the tab that you just created so I'll show you one that I've already set up Come on. okay ads. let's see there's one So here's what my ad looks like. Let me go ahead and open it. And see, that's what it's going to look like right there, one of them that I created earlier. And um, so when somebody clicks on that, it goes straight to the tab. Right there. And there's my landing page. So... That is how it is done. Yeah, so that's uh, basically the, the process. So um, if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to contact me, um, and I will answer any questions that you have. So I uh, hope this helped you out, and I look forward to uh, hearing from you if you have any comments or questions. And um, yeah, so... Uh, Good luck, hope it works, and it works for me almost every time I get my ads approved. So um, that's it. All right, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.